Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of my favorite still books from 2023, so stick around. So I wanted to take time today to kind of talk about all of the still books that were released um, during 2023. There were a lot of great still books. Um, I was thinking about doing a top 10, but there was no way that I could narrow it down to just 10 titles. So I thought I would just go ahead and go over all of the still books that were released in 2023 um, that I actually love the artwork on. Um, so there were a lot of still books released in 2023, and I pretty much, I think I bought all of them, um, but some of them really stood out, and those are the ones I kind of want to go over today. So I'm going to show you the still books. I'm also going to show you um, the international still books that I liked, and also a group of still books that were released that I thought was a pretty good idea. Um, so in no particular order, I'm just going to kind of go through these, give you a brief description of why I like the still book, I'm not going to show the whole still book. These are all going to be in wrappers um, because I don't have the time to remove them from all of their turkey bags. Um, so I'm just going to show these. Um, I will have them. I'm going to try to have them all linked down below if you'd like to see the unwrapping videos of these. That way you'll be able to see them. So like I said, in no particular order, first up, we have Bone Tomahawk. I love the artwork on this one. This is one of the new RLJE still books that they released. Um, I picked this one because I do love the way that this looks with the white and the orange. And I enjoy the film, so that's why it was one of my favorites. Another one that I really like is the RoboCop Blu-ray still book for the RoboDoc, the creator of RoboCop documentary. I love the artwork on this one. And of course the back. So, very beautiful still book. I'm not a very big fan of this film, but I do love the artwork on the still book, and that is Color Out of Space. Very vibrant purple and pink colors, so I like the way that that looks. Another great one, which <clears throat> Screen Factory does a lot of great still books, and Pumpkin Head is one of those. I love that they really filled the still book with that image. It looks beautiful, great looking still book. Now, one of my favorite still books, not my favorite movie. It was I enjoyed the movie though, and that is for Disney's Haunted Mansion. I love the still book with the hat box ghost on it. Um, very detailed, a lot of embossing on this still book. So I love the artwork. Another one that I enjoyed um, as far as the film and the still book is Violent Night. Really nice looking still book with the Santa Claus image and also with the embossing that they did on this still book. So that's why it made one of my favorites. Another recent one that I really love is Point Break. I love the artwork on this one. It continues from the front and the back. But very, very um, cool looking imagery on, these st on the still book. Another one that I really enjoyed <clears throat> from earlier in the year is the Cloverfield still book with a slip. It's got this really nice looking camera lens image there on the front. And as you remove the slip cover, it reveals a great looking image. So I love these still books that have the slip covers. Um, another one that I really love is this um, Black Panther Wakanda Forever still book. I love the artwork that was done for this one. It is so vibrant and so colorful from front and back. I um, wasn't a huge fan of the film, but I do love this still book. Another great different still book for the year is the Sleepy Hollow still book. I love that it contains a book on the inside. Um, I do have the Gigi book edition, which is very similar to this, um, but I love what they did with the still book. This right here was one of those that were um, was really hard to find. Another great one is the Wicker Man um, still book that was put out. I love the artwork on this one with this slip. Great packaging. Another great one that I really enjoy is Warm Bodies. This right here was the 4K release. I love what this does when you remove the slip. Definitely check out the video if you want to see what that looks like. Um, one that was recent um, as of this past month was the Young Guns 4K still book. I love the Wanted poster. Um, I thought that was really great. And if, if you look at the back, you have all the different um, characters there. I think it would have been great if they would have had some art cards. It could have um, done different artwork for the wanted poster where you could change those out. That would have been a great idea But I do love the artwork on this one Another great one that I really enjoy is the mist. I love this release when you remove the slip off of this one It does reveal some great looking artwork um, Very good discard on this one also um, Check that video out if you would like to see that 
Okay, next up I'm going to show you some of the international steelbooks that I picked up this year. They had some really great releases, um, especially for the Warner Brothers 100. They did a really nice release for the Maltese Falcon. I really enjoyed this steelbook. It is highly embossed. And what's great about this one is when you um, turn it over to the back side, it has reverse artwork that's also embossed. So definitely check out that video if you'd like to see more of this still book. Another great one with some great looking artwork is the Fifth Element 4K release. Beautiful looking artwork on this one, very colorful. Um, one that I got here recently um, is the Young Guns and Young Guns 2 still books. I really love the artwork on these. I did an unboxing for both of those if you'd like to check that out. But great looking artwork for Young Guns. Another great release is the um, Studio Canal release for the Wicker Man. Beautiful looking artwork on this on the front and the back. This is the 4K release that they got in the UK. Some great looking artwork. Another recent release I got, I think from Germany, is this Pearl Still book. It's got a lot of nice spot gloss on it. Some great looking images. Great looking release. Another great one, which is one of my favorite films, and that's the color purple. Very happy that the Warner Brothers um, Studios did this one out in the UK. I wish we would have got something here in the States, but I love that I was able to get this one. Also, Rio Bravo was another great one. And also, we have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So very happy that the Warner Brothers Studios did this one for their 100th anniversary. Um, very nice to have all of these added into the collection. So another great thing that they did with the still books this year is they released a collection of still books, some that are very similar in artwork and design. And so I wanted to kind of showcase those. Um, we have the expendable still books. Um, they did a really great release for these, all with these different colors. So I love that they did a different release for each of these. Um, Best Buy did these, and I'm very happy that I was able to get all of these added to the collection. Another great one that was done um, are the Mission Impossible still books. So with the Mission Impossible still books, they did the six Mission Impossible films with all similar artwork. And so I was very happy that I was able to get all of these. Very consistent artwork with their art style all for each one of the films one through six and this right here was leading up to the newest mission impossible film it is unfortunate that they did not keep with the design like they did with these for the new film but still i was very happy to add all of these to the collection another one that they did earlier in the year um, was the rocky steelbook collection um, great looking release i was able to get these from the uk but best buy did have an exclusive so we have the first four Rocky films on 4K, all with very similar similar looking artwork. So very consistent. I love these. Um, Rocky's one of my favorite film franchises. So I'm very happy that I was able to get those. Another great thing that happened this year was the um, Disney Plus, so some Disney Plus shows coming to 4K with a steelbook release. Um, we got The Mandalorian seasons one and season two. Beautiful looking artwork on both of these. Amazing. I can't believe how well these turned out. Very happy to have those. Same way with um, the WandaVision series and Loki Season 1. I do hope that they keep these up because it would be great to have all of these added to the collection. Um, another great one is the Avatar Steelbooks that they did. Um, first up, we got the Avatar Way, um, the Way of Water that they released when the um, after the film was released. They did the Steelbook, and then here recently they did the other Avatar Steelbook. Very consistent artwork with the front and the back, and even the way that they did the spines with the um, the Avatar logo, I thought was a really nice touch. Um, some other great collection releases. They did the Expendables 1 through 4 steelbook release with this beautiful looking artwork. Um, I love this. And another great one is the Hunger Games steelbook that they did. Great looking artwork. So those are all of the steelbooks that I think that I had in my collection that I really enjoyed the artwork for. Um, like I said, there were a number of steelbooks that didn't make the cut. Not that they were bad looking, but I wanted to kind of really just focus on the ones 
that were the better ones for me. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular steelbook releases. Definitely check out the videos down below if you'd like to see all of these unwrapped. Um, take a closer look at each of these. Uh, and hopefully you were able to pick up a lot of steelbooks this past year. Now I do know that um, with the end of physical media at Best Buy, that it's going to be a little bit tougher for me to be able to get some um, some of these steelbooks come into Walmart. With Walmart, it's really hard to find these in store, so I typically order those online, and it's not always the best way of getting a steelbook is through the mail because of the damage, but hopefully this will be another great year for steelbooks. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.